Did you know that too much water can kill you? And no, we're not talking about drowning. You've probably been told time and time again to drink more water. After all, it's widely touted as the solution to a whole host of problems, preventing headaches, helping with weight loss, maximizing physical performance, and much more. But it looks like the old saying holds true. You can have too much of a good thing. Going overboard and drinking too much water can have potentially lethal consequences. So stay tuned to find out the effects of overhydration, how much water is hazardous to your health, and exactly how much water you should should be drinking. There are many terms for what occurs when you drink too much water. Hyperhydration, water toxemia, water poisoning to name a few. And all of them are, uh, not very good for your body. You see, drinking too much water dilutes the sodium in your bloodstream. And although you may have seen some health articles telling you to keep your sodium intake low, it actually plays quite an important role in your body. Sodium is an important electrolyte that keeps the water levels in and around your cells balanced, which also maintains correct muscle and nerve function throughout your body. Reduced sodium levels means that your cells will begin to swell with more water than they can handle, which causes a whole host of problems that we'll get to a bit later. Too much water can also stress out your kidneys as they're only able to filter one liter of water per hour. You may be thinking, so what? I have two of them. But trust us, you want to keep your kidneys as healthy as possible. Finally, overhydration can lead to lower blood pressure and ironically enough, cause headaches, which are also a symptom of dehydration. Sounds like you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. Now, there's no universal universally acknowledged minimum amount of water that can kill you. However, experts do agree that since your kidneys can only filter out one liter of liquid per hour, drinking anything more than that can be hazardous. The effects of overhydration start showing after you drink three to four liters of water over the course of a few hours. That sodium dilution we mentioned earlier will cause your muscles to start cramping and spasming due to low electrolyte levels, and will also cause nausea and vomiting. The stress on your kidneys will lead to drowsiness and fatigue as they release hormones that leave your body feeling weak and tired. Oh, and you might even feel leg and chest pain due to potassium depletion. But the real concern is the headaches. Remember how we said your cells would swell with excess water? Well, that swelling will occur throughout your body, even in your brain. And when your brain swells, things can go bad really quickly. We're talking seizures, comas, and even death are on the table if you aren't treated quickly. As your brain can only swell 8 to 10% before it reaches your skull and starts pushing your brain stem out. Eating a salty snack can help mitigate your symptoms while waiting for medical attention, since it will help restore your sodium levels. But please, Please, don't start giving yourself water poisoning as an excuse to eat a whole bag of chips. Of course, there is an amount of water that you can drink that won't lead to extreme discomfort and life-threatening problems. The classic recommendation is 8 to 10 8-ounce glasses per day, and that works out to a good general guideline. But everyone's a little different, with some people needing a little more or a little less. A more exact calculation is to drink 0.5 to 1 ounce of water for every pound you weigh. Drinking the right amount of water is vital to good health. It's got tons of healing properties, and it keeps your body running smoothly while flushing toxins out through your pee. So here are some general tips for making sure you don't overdo it when it comes to quenching your thirst. Tip number one, only drink water when you're thirsty. Your body is designed to tell you exactly what it needs and when it needs it. If you're not thirsty, odds are you're perfectly hydrated. It's only when your mouth starts getting a little dry that you should reach for your water bottle. Tip number two, sip, don't chug. As we just said, your body's designed to tell you what it needs. However, chugging can bypass this alarm system since you're flooding your body with water before it takes stock of its levels. By steadily sipping water throughout the day, it's easier to regulate your intake and keep things running smoothly. Tip number three, pair water with food. By drinking when you eat, you can help ensure that you're not thinning out your blood since you'll be consuming other nutrients at the same time. If you're worried you might be drinking too much water though, the easiest way to be sure is a quick pee check. Nothing too gross, just take a look at the color before you flush. If your pee is a dark yellow, odds are you're dehydrated and should definitely drink a glass of water. On the other hand, clear pee means you're well hydrated and you don't need any more water at the moment. A clearish yellow is the ideal color for a healthy person. Also, while most people pee six to eight times a day, going to the bathroom more than ten times a day probably means you're overhydrated. But enough toilet talk. Dying from overhydration is rare, since you have to drink a lot of water in a short period of time, which is quite hard to do accidentally. The people most prone to overhydration tend to be athletes, who typically exercise for hours and might drink a lot of water to replenish their fluids, and partygoers who are inclined to dabble in illicit substances and end up drinking too much water due to excessive dancing and body overheating. If you're in a position where you're overheating and losing fluids, find an electrolyte-based sports drink that contains sugar and sodium so that you don't thin out your blood and run into 
complications. Ultimately, having a healthy body is all about balance. Just like dehydration is bad for your physical and mental performance, overhydration is no better. Still, water is the best drink humans have access to, and overhydration really is quite rare. Just make sure you don't overdo it. The results could be lethal. That's all for now. Remember to like this video, and for more content on seemingly healthy household products that could kill you, subscribe to the Brainiac YouTube channel. See you later, Brainiacs.